going to do a little look at my Max Spec Razor light. It's been uh, acting up on me a little bit, and we're going to try to repair it. So uh, let's jump right in, and I'll tell you what it's been doing, and uh, we'll see if we can fix it. Okay, guys, so a little backstory on the light. I bought this light when they first came out. It's the uh, Razor 160-watt uh, 420R. I've had this light for five or six years now over my tank, and it's really, really never given me any kind of problem. This week when I came home from work one day, the light was not at the intensity it should have been. And uh, it didn't take me long to uh, investigate it a little bit and find that my clock, uh, it's right here, was no longer at the right time that it should have been. It was off by several hours. So immediately I reset the clock, the light came to the intensity it should have been, and I kind of uh, let it go for that day to see, see what else would happen with it. And I think the next day it was okay, but the day after that, it was the same thing again. So immediately I know that, that there's something wrong with the clock. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. So I, I call Coral View and get a hold of Chris and I explain to him what I got going on. And he, he proceeds to tell me that the, uh, the program is still in the memory because it's saved to the chip on the motherboard. But the clock, like most clocks in electronic devices and things like that, is uh, backed up by a battery on the motherboard, which makes perfect sense. Every night, my reef keeper shuts the power off to my razor. So my first thoughts when, when this all started happening was that my power supply in some way was bad and that whatever small amount of electricity that it would uh, send to the light to keep the uh, timer counting uh, had went bad. But thankfully, he said it's probably just the the uh, battery on the motherboard so I picked up the battery I'm gonna take my light down and uh, we're gonna dig into it and see if we can fix it all right so I'm gonna shut the power down to the light and uh, remove it I'll probably fast forward the video so as not to bore you guys with this So after talking with Chris at Coral View, I found out that the uh, battery was an ECR-1220, which I found at my local uh, jewelry store. So uh, supposedly it's on a motherboard behind, behind these screws somewhere. So we're gonna take them out and take a look. The joys of filming in the kitchen while your wife is making dinner. All right guys, so with the light uh, repaired, or so I think it's repaired, I've got the clock set at 1857, which is matching uh, the display to my uh, Reef Keeper, which is just over here, over here, out of view of the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and power the light off for about five minutes, then I'll turn it back on and I'll turn the camera on and we'll see if it retained its uh, time or not. 
All right, guys, so it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and power the uh, razor back up and we'll see if the time matches my reef keeper. So it said 1903. And the reef keeper is 704, so I would say it's really, really close. I, I would say it's not losing time. That's probably the difference in when I actually uh, set the clock. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna call that a, a fix. All right, everyone, I'm gonna call that a successful repair of my Max Spec Razor uh, LED light. Uh, when it first started messing up, I was afraid that parts weren't going to be available, and I was pleasantly surprised when I got on Coral View's website and found uh, every part it takes to rebuild this light. Everything from the drivers to the motherboard, the control board, uh, replacement screens, pucks, you name it. So that was a pleasant surprise. I've had this light now, I think, six years over this tank, and it's never really given me any trouble. Uh, I would like to try T5s growing coral. That's something that I fully intend to do at some point down the road, but for now, uh, I'm glad to have this thing working again the way it should, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing some more uh, encrusting growth with my SPS corals uh, thanks to this light. So I wanna say thanks everybody for tuning in, and uh, I do have some more videos coming out. They're kinda slow, but I will get them, and uh, thanks for watching. Later.